Don't forget to like and subscribe. Huh? Hey. Did you also see Navia and Clorando? Oh, Clar Claran's there too. They look like they might have run into some kind of trouble. Well, let's go check out what's going on. Yeah, because from a distance, I just saw Navia and I got super excited. But if Cloran's there too, it's even better. Hmm. Still no dice? Uh, not at all. And I've asked pretty much everyone in the Court of Fontaine already. Lynette's ears drooped as soon as she heard that we'd have to be out and about for days on end. And Femine, okay. uh, he hid himself under his helmet as soon as he realized there'd be people around that he didn't know. Uh, well, yeah, that's Femine, all right. Hmm. What about Chiori and Charlotte? I feel like both of them would be more than up to it. Mm, I've asked them already, but they're both pretty busy right now. I just gave the members of the Spina a few days off, too, so I don't want to bother them either. Uh, it makes sense, yeah. Mm, this is getting pretty difficult. What are they, what are they doing? Nadia, Cloran, what's up? Oh my, <laughs> well if it isn't my dear partners. Hello, Navia. How are you all doing? Huh. Navia? Huh? Oh, you mean... What? Yep, this is our chance. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't like that camera work whatsoever. What are we going to do? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're just passing through, Dude, you know? Do you need our help with something? Oh, precisely. My dear partners, we've got a huge problem right now that only you can solve. Okay. Oh, for real? Absolutely. We've already exhausted all our other options. Uh, what kind of problem? I mean... Traveler, Paimon, yeah. would you join us and play Mar Chausset Hunter Judgment Day? So that's what it's called. I know she... <laughs> that's what it's called. Okay. Uh, their version of Dungeons and Dragons. Mar Chausset what now? It's a new game script by the Tabletop Troupe, a local roleplay yeah. adventure club. That's funny. Ever heard of the Tabletop Troop? They put out games that allow you to participate in a story and roleplay characters with your friends. Oh, I've loved their stuff ever since I was a kid. Tabletop Troop, huh? More like Wizards of the Coast. That sounds super interesting. <laughs> Clorand and this I are great. both veteran members of the club. Recently, someone came up with a new script and was looking for people to help playtest it for them. I see. And when they asked, of I couldn't refuse. <laughs> I mean, come on. A brand new script? Nobody has ever played it before. Mm hmm. Generally speaking, scripts at that level of development have a lot of issues. But I think this one is pretty solid. The author obviously put a lot of work into the story, and the world building is also quite credible. I think it's funny that Clorand was like this badass, mysterious, like, Electra woman that you just see pop up here and there, but she's just a nerd that likes D and D. It's great. Oh, whoa, I love whoa. it. I know I was the one that handed you the script, but some of us haven't read it yet. No spoilers, please. Right. <laughs> anyway, the script calls for a team of four. Ah, yes, we're missing one final player right now. You were right. This is a big. Is it a big problem though? So I don't know about that you're one. You're saying you'll help us out? I knew I could count on you, partner. I, I guess. <laughs> um, Paimon and the Traveler are kind of a package deal. Is that okay? Yeah, they yeah they said one more person's missing. So Navia, Paimon, Traveler, and Clorraine's the Dungeon Master. So That's not a problem. I'll adjust the pace based on the actual number of players and ensure that everyone has a good time. Right, yeah. Well, Traveler, what DM's do you think? job. Wanna play? Paimon will follow your lead. I was always help a friend in need. Count me. Okay, yeah. Well, that solves our problem. You have our thanks. Woohoo! I'll go grab the script manager from the club right away. The script manager? Didn't you just say that you gave Claren the script? The club introduced a completely new kind of gameplay for the script. Okay. In this iteration, the game master's version of the script is incomplete. The script manager provides the next part of the script only after players have completed the current list of objectives. Oh, okay. On top of that, in order to increase player immersion, the club has created some of the story's sets and scenes in real life. We'll only know where we should go once the script manager reveals the starting location. Wow, you're right! Whoever wrote this script really did put in a lot of work! 
<laughs> and it's got a real healthy amount of suspense, right? I mean, even the GM doesn't know how the story will end. Oh, I can't. I never thought I would see those, uh, that acronym in a HoYoVerse game. Or just any to game, experiencing really. It with you all. Why don't you go meet up with the others first? They should all be waiting at Chioria Boutique. I'll come over with the script manager as soon as I find them. Sounds good. Remember to always watch where you're going and don't rush. Yes, of course. <laughs> you say that like I'm six years old or something. <laughs> hmm. uh... Let me think. What kind of character should I play this time? Oh my god. I just hope you'll pick up some useful skills this time. Oh, and stop trying to persuade every animal you come across. Hey, man. <laughs> Navia, just play a druid. It's fine. Uh, Silent Night. This is gonna be incredible. Because I, too, am a D&D &D enjoyer. So this is gonna be... Like, probably my favorite, one of my favorite character story quests. Right? Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. I, okay. okay. Uh, you're back! My daughter, uh -huh. fantastic. And you've got the Traveler and Paimon with you, too! What a pleasant surprise. I assume you'll be joining us for the game, then? Linny, Farina! Paimon didn't know you were playing, too! Are you also members of the Tabletop Troop? Hey, you two. Hmm, I'm more of a casual member, if anything. I haven't That's taken fine. part in many formal club activities. Lynette Fremenet and I play something similar at the Hotel Bouffe Tete sometimes, but I'm usually the GM. Yeah, that makes sense Still, that you would be. Still, I'm sure it'll be fun being a player for the first time. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm not a member of the club at all. Cloran simply woke me up first thing this morning, <laughs> said there was a good script worth experiencing, and asked if I wanted in. And didn't tell you any other details? If you're interested, I can give you a referral. That should give you a 40% discount on membership fees. Oh my god. I think I'll wait to see how this experience plays out first, especially when it comes to the quality of the script. If it's sufficiently fun, then I'll join. Do you participate in a lot of tabletop troop activities, Clarine? You could say that. She's actually one of the few senior game masters of the troop. Ah, I see. Ah, right. I knew about that even when she was still my subordinate. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Really, just a small hobby of mine. Wow. Hyman's so used to seeing you be all upstanding and intimidating uh, yeah. as a champion duelist. <laughs> oh my god. It's kind of hard to imagine you role-playing with a bunch of friends. Yeah, I just said this like two minutes ago. How she's like, just this mysterious badass. So if we have a problem with any of the rules, do we submit a do request to you? Sick. <laughs> Surely you jest. I would never intentionally make things difficult for my players. Right, I mean, yeah. I maintain a clear boundary between my professional and personal lives. The me you see at court represents the law and order of Fontaine. I put all personal feelings to the side, and grant a fair duel to all who seek to defend their honor. But, in my personal life, I'm just an ordinary person. Someone who feels anger and sadness. Just like everyone else. Yeah, well, you don't show it very much, well, so... Well, you say that, but for all the time I've known you, I right. don't think I've ever seen you cry. Thank you, Farina. I've seen you get angry, sure, but... Now I'm wondering whether you were actually mad, or if it just looked that way from the outside. Uh, I was probably in work mode during those times. Is that so? Well, in any case... I just feel like even in your personal life, you don't get emotional very often. Yeah, I can't say you're doing that either. So you want to see me cry? That might be a little difficult. A show of anger, though. That might be something I could accomplish. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Right, yeah. Scenery, scenery, okay. Is Navi gonna show up? Ah, yep, I there she it. is. Here, allow me to introduce you to the script manager, Mr. Florian. Pleasure to meet you all. Hello. Uh, wait, are you a champion duelist too, Mr. Florian? Nah, he's he's RPing right now. No, no. This is just the costume yep, provided by the club. It. I occasionally play a few of the roles in my scripts. That sounds like a lot of work. It's nothing. It's the least we can do to give the players a more immersive experience. 
Right. Anyway, Agreed. allow me to give you a brief introduction of the script. This script was adapted from the real history of the Maro Shosei Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Um, Paimon's not super familiar with the history of the Maro Shosei Hunters. Is that a problem? Nope. Oh, no problem at all. Yeah. I can give you a brief rundown. So, basically, Mara Shosei hunters were people who dedicated themselves to hunting monsters and protecting the city by using a special swordsmanship technique passed down over generations. Their story can be traced back to the ancient Remurian dynasty, as well as the first hunter, Cassiodor. But I'll leave the finer details for you to seek out and discover later. Mm-hmm. And I'll provide additional commentary as the story progresses. Fantastic. In that case, <clears throat> brave hunters, are you ready to set out on an unknown adventure? Oh man, he put on his GM voice. Oh, just one sentence and it's like we're in the story already. Aha, uh -huh. I see many a determined gaze before me. Very well, head over to this location and begin your heroic journey. So, as we follow the story, it leads us to specific scenes? Ooh, <laughs> sounds pretty innovative. What does the message in the envelope say? It's the exact location of the scene, as well as the formal permission to use the venue. <laughs> oh, Seems yeah. like they have everything prepared. Yeah, that, that sounds good. I didn't even think about that. Please check all your belongings, everyone, and make sure you haven't forgotten anything. Once you're ready, please follow me to the designated location. Sounds good. Hunter squad, move out! Oh, I'm so ready for this. If this is all just like a fan service -y type story quest, oh, dude, I'm gonna love the shit out of it. No domains, no nothing, just PCs talking to each other. Whoa, they really have thought of everything. Tables, Even the chairs. The is here and ready to go for us. Freaking, I saw some food the walking up here. What's that? It's a card that's used to determine action success or failure. We'll need to use it when we try to use certain skills. I see. And what about all the dessert and tea? Is that for us as well? I, I'm that's assuming. That's what the message said. Oh, nice. Really? That's so nice. It feels just like a tea party with friends. I'm sure Farina's Those all over this shit. Paimon's name written all over them. <laughs> I think you might be more of a snack hunter than a Mara Shose hunter, yes. Paimon. Yes, that's that's her, snack right? Snack hunter Paimon reporting for duty. If there are delicious snacks to be found, Paimon will track down every last one. The desserts are great, <laughs> but I'm still looking forward to the story more than anything. Yeah, same. <laughs> Very fair. Then let us begin. So instead of a First, dice, they just use cards. Please pick up the blank character cards in front of you, and write down your name and profession. You can find an abbreviated version of the rules printed on the back of your character card. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. They just get right into it. In Session story, zero. Everyone is a Mara Shosei hunter. To reflect this, the club has prepared a small badge for everyone. Ooh, nice! As hunters, you have proficiency in swordsmanship and fighting by default. So there's no need to allocate any additional skill points to those areas. Makes sense. Swordsmanship? So there's a fighting part to all of this? Oh, yeah. Um, Paimon's not sure she can do all that on her own. Maybe Paimon can just stick with you? Why don't you share a character card, then? The uh, traveler yeah. will be the Mara Shosei hunter, and you can be her little floating assistant. Like a familiar? <laughs> huh. Sick. Kind of like in real life. So, for the name, do I fill it out with the name of my character? Yep. It can be any name you like. You can use your real name, too, if you want. I do that whenever I get too lazy to think of a new name. <laughs> Based, Navia. Oh, so it would be like, uh, like experiencing a different life, but still as yourself. Hmm. Correct. That's not a bad idea. Hmm, in that case, I think I'll continue to use the name Linny then. Next up is the skill sheet. You have a limited amount of skill points that you can use to learn a number of skills. The more points you invest in a particular skill, the easier it will be to pass associated checks. Hmm. This is I'll take persuasion and, and investigation. investigation. Oh my Those god. Those are must-haves when it comes to missions like these. Are you well? Are you, the perception? Oh, that I hope somebody gets like that. Be useful for gathering intelligence. Good idea, Navia. Just a 
is expected of a veteran player. This shit's making me so happy right now. Hmm. So, should we also take those skills then? No. Not necessarily. Yeah, you want to diversify Since the we're skills. Since we working together as a team, we could leave the negotiations to Navia and use our skill points to pick up other useful skills. Yeah, li listen to Linny. For example, I think I'll take stealth <laughs> and sleight of hand. Oh my god. That will give us more options if we run into any situations we can't negotiate our way out of. Yeah, the, uh, Linny would take those skills. Oh, interesting. I wasn't thinking about it like that. I suppose it's not so different from an acting troupe. Everyone has their own role to play. Let me see. I'll take art and performance. I'm not quite sure what use they'll be, but I'm not as knowledgeable about the other skills. And uh, I am not too confident I'd be able to roleplay them well. That's actually a good good thing you did that. I mean, that's well, fair. Well, that leaves us. What do you want to learn, Traveler? Cooking, medicine, or insight? Uh, probably insight, because medicine and cooking don't really come up. So oh, yeah, let's go with insight. Help you get a read on other people's thoughts. Sounds useful. Yes. Oh, do I choose all of them? Ooh, so you want to help people when they're injured? That's nice of you. So what do you think? Are you sure you want to learn these two skills? Oh damn. Uh, yep, I'm sure. Um. Uh, medicine, insight. Yeah, 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 I'm sure. Let's see. Sounds good. <clears throat> oh, looks like you each have enough points to choose one final skill. You've all picked such classic skills. It's fine to go a little bit out of the box, you know. Why do I get the feeling she's getting ready to cause trouble? <laughs> oh. For example, this one here. Summon. Doesn't it sound super that mysterious sounds bad, I have... and cool? Oh, oh, I saw that one just now as well. The uh, description says this skill can be used under certain circumstances to summon characters or creatures that fit the script's world building rules. Okay. The script's world building rules, huh? Hmm. But how are we supposed to know what a Marashose hunter can summon? Oh, that's not for us to worry about, my friend. Just learn the skills that interest you. And the GM will take care of the rest. <laughs> don't, okay, listen, don't tell me Navia's persuading everyone to take summon. Because normally, when a, when you use a summon spell in D&D, &D, uh, before Tasha's Caution of Everything, the description literally says the DM will provide the summon. And that's a whole lot of extra work for the DM, right? So is this what Navia is doing to... <laughs> To make Koran's life as a DM harder than it has to be. Because if so, that, that's messed up, Navia. Why you do that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. Simon. Let's learn something, oh, then. no. Simon can't wait to see what kind of thing shows up. Poor Koran. Well, now that everyone's more or less finished creating their characters, we can begin. Since two of our players are doing this for the first time, though, let me ask. Yes? Would you like to play on easy mode or... Authentic oh, damn. mode. I didn't know there was modes. Uh, what's the difference between the two? Well, in role-playing games, the story sometimes changes based on the decisions of the players and the results of the fatometer. For example, if you fail a check, that means you cannot use the target skill in that scenario. A critical failure may even result in further negative consequences. True. If you choose to play in authentic mode, Every time you elect to use a skill, you'll need to use the Phaetometer to see whether you succeed or fail, and face any consequences that may follow. If you choose Easy Mode instead, every check will be successful by default. Oh, that's no fun. And you won't have to worry about luck playing a factor. Oh my god, there's an actual, like, thing that- a ran- okay. The random checks triggered by the Phaetometer often serves as indicators for Destiny's course uh, or the success of failure of an action. Press to draw a card and get a random number between 1 and 20. So yes, it's a D12, uh, D20. If the number displayed is greater than or equal to the check difficulty, the DC, yeah. You will pass this check. Other, okay, fantastic. The random checks triggered by the Phaetometer often serve as indicators for Destiny's course or the success of failure of an action. Press to draw a card 
and get a random number between 1 and 20. Yeah. If the number displayed, uh, you will pass. Okay. Okay, okay. Players role-playing and the scene in the story can sometimes affect the result of checks. Your current check bonuses, so proficiency, will be added to your randomly drawn number by making it easier to pass checks. In easy mode, all checks are considered so yeah, okay, yeah. Given gotcha. that I'd like to focus on the story, I suppose I should pick easy mode. I'd feel bad if I brought the team down by failing my checks. Yeah, yeah but that's that's the fun of it. Huh? Oh, come on. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, Navia, Our tell her. It's the lifeblood of role-playing games. I'm going with authentic mode for sure. Never knowing what you might have to overcome. Ugh, doesn't that sound exciting? And since she does it this way, she can go to easy mode and authentic mode between the players. Because not all of them are going to do, like, an insight check. I mean, they could, but they don't have to. Um, I, I'd rather be mentally prepared for what might happen. All right, then I'll mark down Farina for easy mode. Right. All her checks will be successful by default. As usual, Navia and Linny will play on authentic mode. Awesome. What about you, dear partner? How would you like to play? Oh, authentic mode for sure. Are you sure? Hell yeah, yep, I'm sure. <laughs> Trust me, you'll see the beauty oh, of our Oh, I know it. Trust me, oh, I know it. Honestly, I don't think Clorand would make things too difficult for us, no matter what the Phaetometer says. Isn't that right, Clorand? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. Yeah, right. <laughs> wasn't super reassuring. Listen. Well, anyway, enough talk. Let's get started. I want to experience at least a good chunk of the story today. Speaking of the story, why is the beginning scene on a beach? Uh, yeah, that's a good, yeah. Well, that's because good question. Yeah. a long Tell time me. ago, <gasps> back when human civilization was still in its infancy, powerful demons and evil sorcerers ruled over the land. They created a host of monsters and sent them to slaughter all humans in existence. Jeez. Soon, a group of human rebels banded together. With their swords raised, they swore to brave the darkness, and in doing so, subdue each and every monster that sought their destruction. They became known as the Marachose Hunters. I love this shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just this beginning, like, 20 minutes, my favorite character story quest, by far. Loading? Okay, yeah, it is loading. Okay. Are we actually... <laughs> yeah, we Some get to play later, it? This is amazing. As a member of the Marachose Hunters, you receive a commission. Following the address provided on the message, you take a boat and arrive at this strange city. As you inhale, you can taste the slightly salty air of the docks, as you begin to survey your surroundings. There aren't many people in the vicinity, but you do take note of a few others who, like you, seem to be sizing up this place. Your eyes meet, and you realize these people are fellow Marachose hunters, likely led to this location after receiving the same commission as you. All right. You're all Marachose hunters too, right? Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Navia, monster hunter by trade and helpful neighborhood businesswoman on the side. She's adorable in that portrait. What say you oh to my goodness. together? We can help each other out on the road. Okay, count me in. Linny looks sick. <laughs> yeah, that's a rogue, all right, 100%. My name is Linny. I've been wandering since I was little and picked up a few less than legal tricks along the way. I was adopted tricks. by a Mara Chose hunter and later chose to follow in his footsteps. Uh, is this where you introduce yes. your character to everyone? It sounds like they've done this dozens of times. Oh my god, Freen is getting fucking new player anxiety. <clears throat> my name is Farina, and um, I grew up in a noble family. Yeah. I always had a strong interest in performance and the arts. Even though I'm a Marsha Say hunter, what I really want is to be a performing artiste. Yeah, and that's a bard, yep. This hey, is incredible. That's really cool. 
Good girl, Navia, making her feel at home. You can That's good. Do it, Farina. Yeah. That's exactly how it's done. God, I love Navia so much. Paimon is Paimon, a good friend and companion to this Mara Shosei hunter right here. I've been studying medicine ever <gasps> since I was a she child. She speaks. I want to do my part to eradicate these monsters and use what I've learned to heal others. Oh my god, are we the cleric? <laughs> yeah, I guess we are. Insight? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's wisdom. Yeah, that makes sense. This is incredible. And she speaks. Oh, welcome, welcome. Let's go. When we face the monsters, I'll make sure to charge in front to give everyone some cover. You can take care of the healing at the back. You open your envelopes at the same time. The message reads... To the honorable and trustworthy Mara Shosei hunters, our kingdom is currently facing a grave crisis. The lands outside the capital have been overtaken by monsters, and our people are being led astray by forces of wickedness. We beseech you, please help us resolve this crisis and return peace and stability to our home. Huh. The layout of this city looks super familiar. <laughs> yeah. It kind of reminds Paimon the scriptwriter must have used a real-world city as a reference when coming up with the map. That makes sense. That's a good way to do it. Mm -hmm. As experienced hunters, the layout of the city reminds you of places once traveled. You recall the sight of tree-lined streets and the gentle tranquility of days gone by. Yet, as you regard the city in front of you, it appears to be little more than an empty shell. Its hollow gates are open to you. Beckoning you to come forth and bring salvation back to the town. I carefully read every line of the letter and turn my attention to the signatures at the bottom. Okay. Who issued this commission to us? You see a long string of unfamiliar names. Plural. It would seem okay. That many of the residents of the city issued this commission together. They sensed that things were not right within the kingdom and sent a distress signal to the outside world. Okay. Hmm. In that case, why don't we take a walk around the city and see if we can learn anything from the local residents? Oh, good idea. We might be able to get some leads on the monsters and bad guys we're after. Sick. Oh, door reservoir. We're in a domain. And see a tavern what? nearby. It appears to be open for the day. Tavern, of course. Why don't we go check out that tavern? If the novels I've read are anything to go by, taverns are usually full of information. Nice, nice uh, cover up for your metagaming. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is incredible. Ah, oh, yeah, trial characters of these. Oh, I love this. It. Are you leaving? No, I'm not leaving. Well, I will end this episode off here. This is insane. Yeah, best best character story quest for me so far. Hands down. All the others were great, but this is my favorite. Alright, well, until part two of this amazing character story quest, later.